I bought this Dell 5400 so I could run Windows 11 on a Windows 11 support machine. I do have a Windows 11 desktop machine over here. You can see it's a wire mess. It's running a legitimate Windows 11 Pro. But the issue here is it's not it's it's not running supported hardware. At the very least, the CPU isn't supported. There's a, I think a sixth generation i7 CPU. Yep, sixth generation. So why am I trying to make this video? Um, I'm gonna try to install Windows 11 onto this and see how long it takes. It's currently 10:48 p.m. The very first thing I'd want to do is fire up Microsoft Edge, and of course it's going to ask me something simple like, do I want to make Edge default? But it doesn't matter. I, what I want to do is I want to download win And of course, it's pretty straightforward. I just have to go to the download Windows 11 page. Let me close this thing on the side. It's um, giving me two options. Let's try doing the first one. So I'm going to use the installation assistant. Hopefully that thing is easy to use. Again, it was like 10.48 I started this. Good news. Meets minimum requirements. Uh, yeah, I'll accept and install. So I had a flash drive ready to do this process. Here's a flash drive. I think all you need is a 16 or 8 gigabyte, but probably, probably 16 gigabytes is big enough. But let's see how long this takes. I got this uh, laptop. It's a Dell 5400 touchscreen. I'll show you this touchscreen part. See, I can move with my finger. Uh, <clears throat> it cost me a little more than the, the autofocus going in and out. It cost me a little over a hundred dollars, and so uh, this is the one of the cheaper things I could purchase that would support Windows Eleven. I don't want to spend three hundred dollars. So it's downloading currently now. Maybe I'll give this a pause. It's at 11.51, so a few minutes have passed. About a minute passed, and I'm almost done with down the downloading part. And now it's getting ready, verifying download. I wish there was a way to skip it, but there isn't. My camera is having a lot of issues with autofocus. Wipe it. Maybe that'll help. Didn't help. Still focusing, refocusing. Probably because of the uh, lighting in this room. And now it's trying to install. It's just going to take 30 minutes about. But it's going pretty quick, must be because of the i7 processor. It's 10.52. I started this around 10.47, 10.48. And I went to the Windows 11 download page and I'm using Windows 11 installation assistant. Stop it. So. It's 
going by pretty quickly. As I mentioned before, uh, I'm currently running Windows 11 on an unsupported desktop. Everything seems fine, but I read online that um, I might not receive some updates because of it lacking all the requirements. And so I thought it'd be nice to at least run a system that was supported to have something to compare with. I have an older Dell running a second generation Intel processor and that one runs fine with Windows 11 for now. So pretty quick. It's been about Seven minutes. We've gone this far. It helps to have a pretty decent internet connection. I think the download should usually take longer. Uh, and one of two things is usually Microsoft's servers are slow. At least for Windows updates. Uh, the Windows installation download is usually a little faster. And... Uh, I'm currently on fiber internet. I forgot. I think it's around a thousand megabits download, so should be fast enough to download Windows pretty fast. It's starting to slow down. Still probably ten fifty four, ten fifty five. Uh I'll come back once it's close to 99%. It's slowed down considerably. It's hitting almost 11 o'clock, so it's been a few minutes and it's crawling at 78%. It only moved a few percent, but 10 minutes have passed. I think last time I checked it was 10.58 and now it's 11.09 so insulation pretty slow down quite a lot at this point come back later when it's more like 90 something percent it's been like another maybe 15 minutes since I last checked and it's crawled a few more percent it's at 11.26 right now. Started this whole process around 10.47. So it's hitting the 40 minute mark now. Definitely taking longer than 30 minutes. But it warns me that after it's done I can wait 30 minutes before it restarts. Kind of slow. It only went like one or two percent up. I'm hitting the 50 minute total mark since starting the update around 1047, 1048. So this is a slow process. Even on an i7 laptop, 8th gen processor, I thought I'd finish sooner. Finished the installation two minutes ago, so around 11.40. So after 52 minutes, 52 minutes, it finished the UI, UI part of installing Windows 11. So let me go restarting it now. So I used Windows Instant Installation Assistant to install Windows 11. I'm trying to restart the machine. It's taking a while to restart it.
There it is. So I'm hitting. Is it 52 minutes? No, I don't know. Yeah, about 52 minutes. 53 minutes. And now it's rebooting. My laptop screen has a defect. It's not that bad, it's just... This Pixel camera is getting a lot of screen glare. But the installation is pretty simple. And now it's doing this part where it's working on the back end portion. Hopefully, it's quick. Sorry, you can't see it says 61%. Let me turn off lights. It's interfering with, actually, it's a little clear now. It's at 74%. So it might take me about an hour to officially install Windows 11. Could have taken longer if I had a slower internet connection. Could have been shorter if my computer was faster. This is running a laptop 8th gen i7 CPU as well as a I think NVMe SSD. I could be wrong. Or M2 SSD. One of those two. So that thin SSD slapped the hops really chugging along right now it's almost hitting the hour mark so I'll come back when it's all done I can smell it's getting hot it's really thinking the exhaust fans are really pumping right now about a minute just passed <laughs> Now it's at 100%. As I mentioned, the exhaust fans are really blowing right now, and I could smell the heat. And it finally loaded to Windows 11. Total time was roughly one hour. <laughs> so it's going to take a little bit longer than an hour because it's still doing its thing and I'll see if it's activated it should be activated I think the upgrade from Windows 10 to 11 is free I mean when I used the installation update didn't tell me it was not free so unlike upgrading from Windows Seven or eight to Windows Eleven. Uh, Windows Ten to Windows Eleven is should be free, I think. So I passed the one hour mark. Hoping it'll finish soon. My laptop is plugged in. The adapter is pretty darn hot right now. This is where she would finish. I forgot to take out my tripod, so. Recording this shaky video. Oh, almost there. 
had me going. I thought I was done. There I am, Windows 11. Windows 11, it took a little over an hour. It's now 11.49. I think I started around 10.47, 10.48, and I'm done now. Uh, let me do one last thing. I'll check uh, to see if Windows 11 is activated. And I'll do that by first opening Explorer over here. And from over here, I will click right mouse click button and click properties. And see Windows 11 Pro is installed. I just need to go to the activation screen. From the bottom, I can click, scroll down to the bottom, product key and activation. We click on that. It's active. So upgrading from Windows 10 to 11 was free and took a little over an hour to do on this Dell 5400.